the way. Today we'll be looking into line problem. As you can see the figure at the right corner of the screen. Right? So we want to reproduce that figure. My first task here is to draw my center line. How do I go about that? I'll take my T square this way. Right? Take it this way. Take my T square this way. I will draw um, center line. It is a um, long one, short one, long one, short one, long one, short one, long one, short one. That's how this, right? So my next task is to take my Z square this way and draw a vertical line to have a center point. Long one, short one, long one, short one, long one, short one, long one, short one, and long one. I have this. So where they meet at this point is my center point, right? So my next task now is to take my compass. As you can see, my arrow indicating the dimension of that circle, of that line problem, is given to be what? 90. Diameter of what? Of 90. So I will measure 90 on my compass. So taking my compass, half of 90 is what? 45. So I measure 45 from this point here to this point is 45, right? I will place at this center point. I will draw my thick circle. Make sure it's ticking. Where is the thick line? Make sure it's ticking. So I have this. Here is my circle this way. So my next task now is that, as you can see, this is this circle in the middle. This, this, and this are falling on this straight line. There's a circle here. A circle is here, and a circle is somewhere here, right? So what's the logic? The logic is that I will simply divide ninety by um that three circles. I have what thirty. So I'll measure half of 30, which is what? 15. From this point to this point is 15. Right? I'll put at this point. I will draw a circle this way. Right? A circle this way. Right? I will come to this edge point. So the spot here. I will draw a straight and arc. Put that point there. Right? I will draw uh, a circle. Right? I will draw a circle. Draw a circle this way, right? So to touch the two edges, so take this point to this point. So take at this point, draw a circle to touch the two sides, right? I have this, right? I have this. My next task now is to simply. So I have this. So my next task is to take my 60 degree. As you can see, there's a degree showing at the right corner of the screen. Take it this way. Right? I will draw a line. Center line. Long one, short one. Long one, short one. Long one, short one. Short one, long one, short one. Long one, short one. I have this. Right? So next task is come to this point here. Take it the same way. Long one, short one, long one, short one, long one, short one, short one, long one, short one, long one, short one, and long one. I have this. Right? So the same measurement of that circle at this point here, strike an arc, where they meet, connect it this way, where they meet at this point, draw a circle. Have this. Take it again at this point here, where they meet here. You see, there's a circle this way. I have this. Come to this point where they meet at this point here. Draw the circle. I have this. Right. So let's start. So they meet at this point to this point here. So I have this. So now my next task now is 
take it at this point here and draw a circle. Long one, short one, long one, short one, long one, short one, short one, long one, short one, long one, short one, long one. I have this. So here is what we are having at the right corner of the screen. So I want to dimension this. How do I dimension it? Simply take it this way from this point here um, to this point. Take it this way. So the dimension from this point, right? To this point, I have 60, 60 degree and uh, 60 degree at this point, right? So the dimension of um, that figure is going to be what? 90. Right, diameter of what? 90. So, if you found this video helpful, kindly click on the subscription button and like. Thank you. Welcome to WiseLink Academy.